I know it's been a minute since my last video, but we are back with another hair lock video. So on this lock video, I'm going to be washing my hair and moisturizing it with aloe vera. So I actually have my own aloe vera plant that I went and bought from Lowe's, I think it was. Um, so I'm going to be using two of the leaves and they were small leaves so these are small aloe vera leaves but because i don't have that much hair i won't have to use a lot um so i'm going to show you guys how i cut the aloe vera leaf how i gather the aloe for my hair and with this wash i am not going to be retwisting my hair because i'm going to be coloring my hair tomorrow So I don't want to twist my hair and then have to go back, color it, all that. So I'm just going to wash my hair today and let it be free without retwisting it. Of course, moisturize it with the aloe vera and then color my hair tomorrow. So before I get to cutting the aloe, I wash all of the aloe with soap and water just to get any dirt or anything that's on the outside of the aloe off of it. Now I begin to cut the aloe, cut the ends of the aloe, and then I'm going to slice the sides of the aloe, um, sticking as close to the side as you can so that you can keep as much of the aloe um, intact so that you can use it. And then I'm going to slice the other side of the aloe. Once you slice both sides of the aloe, you can see that there is a clear strip of aloe. So now you want to take off the remaining green parts of the aloe. So cut as close as you can to the top of the leaf. And then separate that part. And then you're going to do the same thing for the back side of the aloe. Just sticking as close to the leaf as you possibly can. And then you'll have the clear strip of aloe. It's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and put that into a separate container. And then here I just continue to do that for the rest of the leaf and these smaller portions of the leaf. Try to get as much of the green off as you can. And so like I said, I only used two parts of the leaf because I did not have that much hair. So here is the aloe. I've started to smash it up. And I'm going to also add some avocado oil. Um, this is just to make the aloe stretch a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. before of my locks they need a retwist pretty bad I hate if you can see and it needs to be washed so that's why I'm about to go ahead wash and moisturize so 
will be back. Hey guys, so I just got out the shower. Um, my hair is still damp. I wrapped it with a cotton t-shirt to get some of the moisture out of the hair, but not all of it. So maybe about 15 minutes. I was out of the shower and now I'm just popping my locks, which is just separating them because they can start to grow together and hair gets tangled from one lock to the other. So keeping their integrity. So pop my locks all over. All right, so I showed you guys, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to tip it over. Showed you guys my aloe and avocado mix and so I'm just gonna take little and so I'm rubbing it in my hands I'm just going to mix it throughout my so here I'm just mixing it throughout my hair trying to make sure that it's evenly distributed trying to make sure it's getting onto my hair as well as my scalp massaging it in so what I learned while doing this is that you definitely need to process the aloe a little bit more just smashing it up is not enough as you can see there are pieces of aloe kind of falling out so that is something to consider if you decide to prepare your own aloe moisturizer. So this is the result of my aloe vera and avocado oil moisturizing. Um, so it's not the prettiest video that I've done, but it served this purpose. So my hair is now moisturized washed clean healthy um so stay tuned you guys thank you for watching this video go ahead like the video subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that i have coming out and i will see you guys next time